guys this is Dalia. welcome back to my channel today we are coming with frost tube i never know what number it is so you should know because you read the description i'm always lost at what number it is so today we are coming with a, that floss tube i didn't did a video last friday or last week because it was thanksgiving so um we had Thanksgiving in the house. We cooked a storm, lots of food. Uh, we had a good time. It was just uh, my family, my brother, his wife, and me, my mother, my daughter, and her boyfriend, and the dogs, of course. We had fun. We ate a lot. We talked a lot. We played bingo until 4 o'clock in the morning. We played for money. So uh, we played uh, at 4 o'clock in the morning. And then Friday, which I said that I wasn't going to hit the store, I lie. So I finally, I went to Home Depot and got the Nutcracker. I will put a picture here. I finally came in and did it. It's not the pink one I want, but he fits perfectly in my dining room with the red truck um, decor. So I love it. I should have gone to... Well, I only got one, so okay, next year I'll get another one. And hopefully I'll be able to get my own pink one or I'll um, paint it. Because where am I selling a white one that you could paint? I There's nowhere to be found now. Everybody is hitting that one. Everybody was hitting that one. I saw it because I belong to a group, uh, Christmas Decoration, Nutcracker. And everybody is painting them beautiful so i'm gonna be in the lookout for next year and painting my own and it's cheaper and i don't have to pay for a hundred dollars for it because i think that one is 120 dollars 129 dollars which is better than uh, four hundred dollars for a nutcracker i pay 99 for the red one and home depot for black friday so i got that then i went to joan and i got a i'm gonna show it right here i got a an outline for my stitching area. I acquire another room in my house. <laughs> so I am going to be doing my stitches sewing room in there. So I I got the, that uh, outline. I also got a TV. I put it right here. So yeah, I hit the stores. And you know, there's always something to, sh to buy. Shopping makes me happy. So I do it. Plus all the stuff that I got here for that. So yeah, I spent uh, the day on Thanksgiving, uh, Black Friday. So in the streets, you know, because I don't go early in the morning. I wake up when I wake up and then take my coffee, take a shower, get dressed. So we left the house around three o'clock. Because again, I'm not in the, I don't, I'm not that person to get up early to, I wait for the crowd to go down. Excuse me. And then I go and whatever I find, I get it. If I don't find it, it's fine because I really don't need it. I'm just shopping because you want to shop. So I always go after the, the craziness. And the good thing is that this year, um, all these stores started Black Friday sale since Monday. So, so to avoid the crowds and the fights and all that stuff. So I like that this year. So... Yeah, that's what we did Friday, and then I got home around 8 o'clock. Then I stitched for a little bit, and then Saturday, I had a party or Sweet 16. So we went there. It started early. It was a, like a, you know, it was like a religious one because the people are, you know, pastors and, and all that stuff. So uh, we went there, have a good time, eat food, talk, and all that. So we, I got home around 10 o'clock, so I didn't do nothing Saturday. And Sunday, so I didn't do much stitching, but I did some stitching. And it was a busy week, and, you know, I take advantage because I don't go to social events too much. So, uh, you know, I took advantage of the situation and enjoyed myself the weekend with the family and friends, and... Sunday, I spent the day sewing. So I did two project bag and I fully finished my Christmas um, things that I'm going to show you. So yeah, that was the week. It was good. It was, you know, 
it was good so i can't complain and i you know i didn't i found a lot of good deals off and on the online and i found um in the stores but i wasn't looking for much but i bought some gift and stuff for you know so take it out of the way for christmas so my daughter's gift and stuff like that so yeah spend the day shopping that what i like <laughs> so anyway so let me show you my three fully finished objects which was the jolly i don't have the pot in here i think i left it i left it downstairs but anyway it's finished so that is right here look how cute and this is the hobby lobby crochet trim crochet um thing and i love i'm gonna get it all colors i like this one better than the other one that i bought so i'm gonna stuck up in this one and it looks like the same thing as chenille or cheaper it's not really chenille but it looks like it so i don't care this is for me so so yeah i fully finish it and all i put is batting inside no special things and then i did send to do some labels and then i put the the charm with the year which i have a whole bunch and i for 2023 and I didn't finish nothing in 2023. So those are go to waste. I already received my 2024 ones. Those I'm going to put them to use. Because I'm in love with pillows. I want to make so many pillows. Well, yeah. So then I, I have that, that that I bought at Etsy. It says hand stitch by Dahlia. And then I put the little charm. And that's the fabric that I bought. I love the sparkling in it. And uh, Joanne. And that is the pillow with... um with the little uh, buttons that it needs and it looks so cute they already display in my living room and my and one tray not the trays that i bought another tray that i had so that's one these are the two fully finished the two um things that i show you that i have finished and then this is the second one i love again the same yarn which i love i gotta get this in different color and all i did is like slip i don't know how that's how you call it like a slip stitch something like that and i just like round you could have glue it too if you don't want it i forgot look this one right here i didn't do a stitch there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a dot of hot glue there and just glue it you could have glue the trim too but uh, what I was watching, friend, I just <clears throat> slip stitch it like that. And I didn't get it right here, so I got to fix that. Uh, I got the needle right in my in my lorry, so when I go down, I'm going to fix that. So, yeah, look how cute they are. And for this one, I use the gingerbread. Look how cute. I love, again, my, my label and the year, the, the little things for the year. My mother loves them. She said, oh, you got to make me some. So, yeah, she lost them. So, that's the another one. And the third one that you guys didn't see the... the I finished it and fully finished it. I finished it Saturday night, so I fully finished it on... On Sunday is the Christmas loading. You see, this one is cute, but I really like this one better. So, I'm going to stack up on this one in different colors. And look how cute this one is, Christmas loading. That's a mini from that uh, website. And then again, it has my my label, and then it has the year. And, and this is the other fabric. So I did use the three fabrics in, in, in all of them. Ain't they adorable? Oh my God, I'm hooked and I wanna do so many pillows. So uh, I gotta integrate, um, Every month, I had to have at least two to three pillows. So, yes. And I forgot to... Uh, hold on. Okay, guys. So, I needed to print uh, what I work on. So, uh, Monday, I didn't do nothing. Uh, I, I came up here to print some stuff. And time went out of my hand. So, in the thanksgiving part for that i didn't do nothing um so tuesday i started i don't think i show you guys well anyway 
On Tuesday, uh, it snow here a little bit. We have a little flurry. So I decided to start this project that uh, I've been wanting to start this. Uh, it's a Miravilla. I've been meaning to start it for a long time, which is um, Snow Queen. So uh, I saw a couple of years back, um, Julie, the Colorado girl, she did it. And the way she did it was every time it snowed, she was stitching it. So I'm going to do it like that. So on Tuesday, we got some flurries. It snowed a little bit. It didn't, it didn't stick, but it, it, it snowed a little bit. By the time I got home, it stopped snowing, but it count because I was at work. So I started it. And the fabric that I'm using is a Bitch Stitch Me called winter mix i thought that was perfect um so i stitch on it for one hour because it ju i just wanted to start it and this is what I, this is all i have and the st and the stitches looks you could see them because like in person you still could see them but i thought that was go they were going to blend but I mean, once you put the whole thing with all the other colors and stuff like that, um, she'll be fine. If anything, I just outline her like by stitch around her just to to make a pop. But I don't think it's necessary. So that's what I have. I worked for an hour and I did 140 um, stitches, and then I am right here in this part, in this part right here. So. Oh, I don't have, I have the beads because I use generic. I got to order the Carol Lilies and the Rainbow Gallery Whisper and the Kranich. But it's okay. I will stitch. Uh, I will stitch with DNC wherever I can until I order those. I got to make a one, two, three order, but I'm not going to make it until after Christmas because I want to make a big, a big order. So I'm going to, I have to wait. Um, I gotta, I, you know, I gotta wait after Christmas to do it. So, you know, I'm only gonna stitch on her when it's snow. So I got plenty of time to order whatever I need. So that's not a problem. So that was my new star, my snow queen. So she's gonna be stitched mostly when it's snow. And then the day, the months that it doesn't snow, if it comes out in my, rot in my rotation, then um she'll come out so that is the snow queen that is that one uh the other one that i work on that day um on tuesday i supposed to work uh friends sample every sunday but i was busy sunday sewing all day so because i did the three pillows plus i did two um two to um project bag so this is the project bag that i create mine this is mine i put the i put this part backwards so central perk is upside down but in order for me to fix it i had to disconstruct the whole bag like completely up i was like you know what i stay like that but I, then i did christine this is christine's and this one is perfect <laughs> and then i put my uh like on this one i'm gifting her to her i put one of my labels in it i'm gonna make some labels so i could put it in my bags but i mean i had to send to make them and i, I get them in that see so i just put my my stick there and that is horse is perfect i mean they are not 100 percent perfect but they perfect for me so, and I'm sure she will appreciate it. So uh, that's why I'm fine with gifting it to her because I know she will appreciate it. And then the inside is just yellow. I don't put fancy, fancy fabric inside. It's no need to it. So hers is fine, but mine is upside down because it is, uh, it's a directional fabric in a way because really it's, it's not directional because if i put it this way it's perfect but then everything else is upside down so it doesn't matter to me it's fine so and it has thread all over the place <laughs> so yeah so i spent the day making the two um the two bags and um 
and stuff. So this is my whip 102. Oh, my, uh, my Meravilia is my whip 104. Keep growing. I love it. So this is the friend, um, which I saw somebody that they, the copies, they laminate them. So look, this one is all bent up. I think I'm going to laminate all my copies because I have lamination blanks for, for a whole bunch. So I'm going to put a picture here and what I had done previously. And this is what I have now. So, uh, I did the first quote. And this is the burger, but I only did the, the top one and it's not even complete uh, right here. So I just did this part. This burger is big. So when I get it this Sunday, I will uh, work completing, try to complete the burger. So that's what I did. It's fun to stitch, and I watch friends what are stitching. So I like the fabric that I'm using is a Be Stitch Me fabric. Um, it's called Lotus. It is uh, um opalescent. All my fabric from Be Stitch Me that I get is opalescent. I love her fabric. So and you still could see what I frog. I hope when I stitch over it, you won't see it. But the fabric, I wasn't going to throw away this fabric. The fabric is so pretty. Hopefully, whatever I stitch over that, it will die. So that's the only thing I work on Tuesday. Those two, those two uh, webs. Uh, then on Wednesday, I forgot to throw a picture of this one before. It is my web number 100. And it's my Puerto Rican map. I forgot to put pictures, but when I showed you last, was this part was not done, so it was just um, finished. I needed to finish this right here, and then this line was done. This was done. This was done, and I still had not stitched the Y, so it was up to here. So this is how it is now. So I finished. So this is how big it is, which I wasted so much fabric. I said it at the beginning. I could do this right here in the half. So the next two that I got to do with one fabric, I could do two. And now my daughter wants me to do an, one for her, but as a, as a bookmark. So I'm going to do one in plastic canvas. So I could for, for her. So that's another one. So I got to do it three more times. But this is a quick fun stitch. But I, like, I'm focusing on finishing. It's not pleasant for me. I, it's like I, I feel the stitching is forced because I need I needed to have it done by a certain time. And I don't enjoy that. I really don't. I, I really switch and, you know, it gets done when it gets done. But it's almost done. My goal is to finish this on Sunday. All I had to stitch, this is all the map already, the outside and everything. The other two little uh, islands that are oh, here, I'm not going to do them. So, which is these two little, this is um, Santo Domingo and Cuba. I don't know. I can. I, I think this is part of the uh, Virgin Islands. I'm not going to stitch that. He cares about this. So, yeah. So, it's almost done. I My goal is to finish it on Sunday, which all I got to stitch is... The star is already stitched in white. So all I got to stitch is these two lines right here. That's all I need to stitch it. So Sunday, I am going to um, I'm gonna finish it. So hopefully by Friday, it will be... Oh, I, I'm, I don't think I will record next Friday. Because I usually... Today is Friday. I record Friday to put it up Sunday, Saturday morning. But next Friday is my work... Uh, Christmas party, so I don't think I will film, but I will film Saturday. No, Saturday my mother's moving, so yeah, uh, whenever I could come back, uh, I'll show it to you already framed. I gotta go get the picture, uh, the picture frame this week, so I could have it ready. I mean, I think this in a five by seven picture frame it will fit because it's only this part right here, so a five by seven it will fit. Uh, I want to get a nice frame, not a Dollar Tree one. 
Um, so yeah, I gotta go to Marshall, see if I could get a nice um manly kind of manly, you know, like a brownish something that doesn't look too girly for him so he could put it in his wherever he wanted to put it in his house so yeah and then i gotta put my initial and the years here but it's almost done guys all i need is this it's a quick stitch but i really do not enjoy um stitching on it all the time like force myself because i have to finish it that's not enjoyable i can never be a monogamous stitcher I get bored so easily. I get distracted so easily. That's the struggle that I have at work. I get distracted so easily and I get bored. Like I'm I mean I had work like crazy to do, but I'm after a while it's like I'm distracted. I'm in the computer shopping and it's like I gotta force myself to get back to to work. I don't know. I'm gonna have to tell my doctor that I can't I can't concentrate. Okay, then other one that I started, and I wanted to do a little pillow, is the Naughty or Nice. Um, I don't have much in it. Well, uh -huh. hopefully by next week. I don't know how much stitching I'm going to do this week. I will tell you in plan. So, but this is what I have. So, all I have is the first, this part of the hat with that thing right with a little pom-pom but in this one i'm gonna add this white pom-pom in there because it will be it fit perfect so i'm gonna add the i, I stitched the pom-pom but i still gonna i'm gonna add uh one of these pom-poms when i finish it so yeah that's all i have hopefully i get this one finished too for next time i come we'll see that is all the stitching i did guys that's it but i have a lot of haul so yeah, that's all the stitching. Um, again, uh, I'm gonna stitch in. I mean, every Sunday I gotta stitch on this because that's the sound that me and Christine study. So every Sunday I stitch on this. How much I have? How many? I, how much time I can? Because it's start, starting on January on Sundays is also my stacking Sundays that I I, I have always had that but i haven't worked on it so um yeah i'm gonna i had to fit it in on sundays and it's gonna be so I, it's gonna be three projects that i had to work on sundays because it's gonna be my stacking sunday and advent calendar animals sunday so uh, sundays is a day that i could stitch more than five hours because i don't have to do nothing if i don't want to i don't have little kids I don't have a husband. All I have to is let Rocky out in and out whenever he wants to. And he let me know when he wants to go out. So so I could, I could, it is doable to work three projects at least an hour and something. So yeah, so that's that. I got to finish this Sunday. I got to finish that, that, um, that map. Because after Sunday, I'm not going to have much time. I got to prepare for um, the 12 days of stitchments, which I'll tell you in a minute. So let's do haul. Oh, for this little, for the little night, naughty on nice, uh, this guy, I worked two hours and I did 500 in this hat that is 500, 550 four stitches and i still need like five more rows of the white fluffy part so yeah they, i know there's a, uh, a floss that is is like flurry like that i got it uh i think it's a rainbow gallery one i'm gonna have to order some and have it in stack because that would be good to stitch um to give it that fluffy feeling so okay let's start with haul which is a lot I am going to start with whatever is for the patterns and all that stuff. Well, before that, I got my um, patron, uh, Teresa Cougar. And um, I haven't got the Tiny Modernist or the Liz Matthew. Liz Matthew put this last week. Um, there's like five little ornaments. Only three are showing here. But... There's five in the pattern. I can show you the pattern because it's the it's the pattern. So she only showed these three in the picture. So these are cute 
for little mini bags, uh, mini pillows or something like that, or little. So I am gonna stitch those. I like this one for a friend. So you could stitch that and send it to a friend. So then I got my Teresa Kugo. Oh my God. I need to start all these Patreon um, um, patterns. I have to start, I have to start them so I could work on them because I love them. This is for the two, three, and four tier, which I love. I'm gonna start this uh, in the 12 days of stitch miss. So oh, I love them love them i don't know if i would do the red cardinal i think i only would do the 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 snowflake and then i mean the snowman and then in that spot i could repeat the snowflakes because i'm not i don't care about the bird <laughs> oh my god look at this one this is for tier three and four adorable oh, i gotta stitch this i gotta start these things love the and the previous one I got to start them. And this one, I could see a beautiful pillow with this one. This is for the tier four, the max. Um, that, that one gets an extra pattern. So that's the one I am. And then she's doing a mystery style starting in, uh, for Patreon. I can't wait. I can't wait to start that. So I love this. Oh my God, this will be such a beautiful pillow like this one. <sighs> and I'm going to do it in the same fabric that I did this one. It will be done for next year, of course. Uh, but I'm going to start it. I am going to start it. Uh, it's 12 days of stitchments. And I think I'm going to start 24. 24 new patterns, Christmas pattern. And I'm still going to work on 12 of the, of the other, the old 12. For, uh, the old webs that I have for 12 days of stitchments that I did back in 2018 that I haven't touched. I am going to work on those and then I'm going to do two starts per day because I, I had too many Christmas that I need to start. So they could be done during the year so I could work on it. I love this. I, I, see, I see a pillow like this. <gasps> yes. And I'm going to go buy more of those. I still got some, but I still got I got to get more. And then the ornament is beautiful. It's a, it's a snow angel and it says, oh, holly night. I would know, I don't think I would do the wings, even though it's a snow angel. But I think without the without the wings, he would look cute too. We'll see. Or oh, I'll do the, the wings in um don't mind my lips. They they um they crack in the winter. And I put I put everything and they crack. Ugh. And it's painful. So but in the winter they always crack. I don't know why. I need to move out to a place that is not cold. So yeah, so that's that. I love, I love all three of them. I want to start them. And then the coloring pages, that's this one. And this is the one that I think that I would do as a punch needle. This one, it could be an embroidery. Who knows what I invent with these things. So that was my uh, patron goodies, which I'm loving Teresa Cougar. Uh, to be honest, I am loving Teresa Cougar more than the other two. So I think I might drop the other two so I could add the Noro Cobra one. I want the Noro Cobra. Covert. I want to get those patterns they get. So anyway, so shopping. I bought a whole bunch of patterns. Digital and physical and fabric. So I belong to this crew, the Pine Mountain. I just find out in a you in a floss too. And this was a subscription that they did on 2023. And every month you get this pattern, you gotta purchase the double, which I'm gonna buy it. Uh, and then every month you get a box with the pattern to stitch that and the little decorations to put in the in the little bowl i'm too late for the game because it started it's and it ends now in in 2023 so but i'm gonna be in the lookout for the one for next year but it, i don't think it's gonna be the same but luckily i could purchase the the bowl which i'm gonna get and I could purchase the patterns and either the website or the fat quarter shop. I purchased just one. 
I mean, they are $10 each, so it's 120 for all of them. So I'm going to purchase, like, I purchased February because January has not come out. They started in February. So now in December, they get the January one to end the, the series, right? So I purchased the February one. So now in January, I'll purchase the March one. Every month I purchase that and they come physical or PDF. I prefer PDF because I could keep them in my iPad and I don't have to scan it. And if it's some PDF, I could put it in Pattern Keeper and all I got to input the numbers myself, which I don't mind doing. So I bought the PDF for February, which I'm going to start now in March, so I could, and I'm going to order after Christmas. I got to do everything I want to order. It has to be after Christmas because I got to get, you know, the, the, the Christmas gift and all that stuff. So, but every month, like the previous month, like in January, I buy the, Mar the March. February, I buy the April until I get them all. And I am going to subscribe. I'm going to see what the new subscription is going to be. If it's something like this that you could put it in a bowl on the tier trays, I'll sign up. If it's something different, I don't think I will sign up for it. But anyway, so I bought the, the January. It was cute. And I could recreate whatever is there. Because I could cut, I have metal dies that I could cut, I could cut felt and I could hand stitch the, the thing. So I'm going to try to recreate what they had in the bowl. I got to order the bowl. So anyway, and that's from this company, Pine Mountain, and they have a Facebook group for that. Then for Tilton Craft for Cyber Monday, they were having a uh, forty-five percent off on charts, so I bought this one. I do have this as a printed kit, but I bought the pattern. So I am in twenty twenty-four. I am gonna buy the patterns of every Miravilia I have in kits. I am gonna buy the original. I don't. Think that's wasting money because I all I gotta throw out is the 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 AliExpress pattern and then keep the floss and the beads and use them. So it's not a waste of money, but I'm gonna do that anyway. In 2024 is gonna be the year where I collect all the Mira videos I want. And I already started, you will see here in a minute. So anyway, I bought this one. I still gonna continue doing the printed kit, but I bought the original. And the reason I'm doing that is because there's a lot of people complaining. I don't care what people say because I don't live with people and I don't, they don't, I don't care. But they are complaining. There's a, there's a cross stitch police that's going on YouTube and whatever video they see that has this AliExpress copyrighted issue. They are, they are, they, they, and the reason I know, because I belong to groups that I read comments all the time, and there's a group of ladies that are going in YouTube and having channels shut down for copyright infringement, even though I'm not stealing, I'm not the one stealing the, the pattern, right? So I don't want my channel to be shut down. So I am going to buy whatever I, I think that is, because not everything is copyrighted. There's a lot of uh, uh, kits in AliExpress. They are just random arts. Those is fine. But if I know of the original belongs, if that thing belongs to an original, I knew that was, was copyrighted from somebody, but I couldn't remember. I couldn't know. I didn't know who was the, 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 the person. And uh, in one of the groups, somebody posted it, and I asked who was the designer, and they told me, and I went and got it. It was 45%, so I only paid $8 for it. So that's good. So I have it, but I'm still going to continue doing the printed one, but I still I have the original. So I fit the, the designer, and I fit the Asians, right? So that's going to be that. Then I found this new website that sells um 
full coverage besides Tilton. I didn't know about them. They have some nice patterns too. Ooh. Anyway, I found um, somebody posted this picture in Facebook and I was like, I need to have that. Look at that Santa. It's big. He is humongous. 475 by 665. He is huge. And the amount of floss this thing requires is ridiculous. For that, for those pink, it's like 40 skins, 50 skins. Amount ridiculous. So I went and bought I bought skin for like the first two pages because it's gonna take me ages to finish this. But my plan is to order the colors in CSC because I could get a hundred, two hundred skins like for fifteen dollars or eighteen dollars. So that's my goal to order the CSC for this. But I went to to Joanne, which I have them all here. You see all those. So all this is plus. This is to start three big um, full coverage pieces. So I bought like randomly for the first two pages. Like it's going to take me ages to finish a page anyway. So I bought, I'm going to start this one. I don't know if this is going to, if I start it now or I leave this for New Year's start. Which I don't think it will be New Year's start because it's Christmas. So this is going to be started now in December in the 12 days of Stitchmas. But he is beautiful. Look at that Santa. <gasps> I was like, I need this. And need, and then I bought, it's going to be huge the way I like because something like that, I like it. So I went and bought the big, the big row. And this is 20, 29 and a half by 36. And that's too short. So I had to leave only like a one inch margin. And then when it's time to, to frame it, because I'll frame myself because it will cost me an arm and a leg um add some fabric or something but so i went and bought the big i bought two big ones because i have another one because i'm going to start three big patterns but i needed to have this this is gorgeous oh beautiful oh i love it this is not whole but i am going to start it so it's here I bought this. This was my first pattern that I bought for Heaven on Earth Design on 2018. She is huge. She is 475 by 731. I will never finish this thing. And she's confetti heavy. But I love her. So I am going to start her just to, have to stitch her, you know, enjoy the stitching. And if I finish, and if I will ever finish it, I'm not going to I'm not going to do the whole thing. I am going to do half of her. Because what I love is her face. So if I ever finish it, this is the... I, I, will, I will stop right here. That's what I will do. So I will do that part and frame it. If I ever finish it, which I doubt it. At the bottom, it's just a big flowers and stuff. And I know that's confetti heavy. So i just going to do this part. She has like a butterfly in her hand. And that's, that's where I will stop. Right here. This is what I would do. So I am going to start her just to enjoy stitching her. Because when I saw her, her name is Holly. Uh, the art is from Pat Brennan. And this is the first Heaven on Earth design that I bought on 2018. And I loved her. I mean, I fell in love with her. And she's been sitting in my in my in my iPad for so many years and you know I said, "You know what? I am going to start her and enjoy because my point is in start all the things, right? And it, I'm a process teacher. I enjoy stitching on them. If they done it gets done. If not, somebody else could finish it when I die. Whoever is carrying it in in Salvation Army. So yeah, I'm going to start her. She's not, I didn't buy, I bought that 2018. And this is another one that I have in my stash. And I saw it, somebody stitching it and she's like all the way down here. And it's beautiful. And I was like, I have that in my stash. Why am I not stitching it? So the, all this plus is to, like the first two pages for this one. The first two pages for this one and the first two pages of this one because it will take me ages to finish those two pages and i am going to order the own um 
CNC, CXC packs. And this one, I am going to continue using the kit, but I have the original. Okay. So, what else I got from Etsy, from Annabella's, Annabella's Etsy shop. I buy a lot from her. I bought this Christmas. I love that. I really love that. Uh, I will stitch it. I will not stitch the initials. Or maybe I put this the initials of us here. So it won't be that many. I will put like my initials, my mother, my daughter, her boyfriend, and the dogs around, scattered around. But I will not do the whole alphabet. Not my thing. The Santa is going to be another color. I love that. That, re that means like... I mean, that's a deer, but I, that is something that Ace would do, the big dog. I, it's like, I see Ace doing that. So, yeah, I'm doing, I'm starting that. I love it. Then I got my other tree, which uh, I want to do this one. Uh, I don't like, uh, oh, this one says Christmas. I was like, I don't like uh, alphabet, but this one spelled Christmas, and they have it in two colors. This one, I will do them all. I like them. Even this one that has the little reindeer and whatever. I will do this one. I think I will do all these ones. Oh, this is gingerbread. Yes, I got to do that. And then you got a, a, another one here, another pattern. Plus you get this one. Oh, I can't wait to start these things. I want to stitch it all. So yeah, love that. So that was from Annabelle. Um... Then from an, for the Stitchery Corner and Etsy, I bought the Snow Magical, which everybody and the mother is doing. And everybody's doing this. I did not buy that. It sold out. But I'm going to do mine different. I saw this big... Everybody's doing a so snow globe, right? He's a snowman, so he's inside the snow globe. But I'm not going to do it like that. I got to get it. I forgot. I was supposed to go get it today, and I forgot. Anyway, I get it tomorrow, and I'll show you guys in the next plus two. But Hobby Lobby has this big wooden uh, white snowflake, and they have glitter one, and they have regular white. I am going to buy the glitter one, and I am going to stuck it right in the middle on the snowflake. And then I will do something else. Everybody's doing this. I don't want to do it the same, everybody. I went to purchase it, but it was sold out. And then I saw that snowflake um, the other day. And why did I not purchase that day? I don't know. Oh, I was on my way out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was on my way out. And Hobby Lobby is crazy now for Christmas. The lines are ridiculous. I was like, nah, you know, I'll come back Friday and get it. I went and did something else and forgot. But I got to go over there tomorrow around Hobby Lobby. So I get it tomorrow. And I'll show you guys. He's going to look precious there too. So this one is a star sometime. Then from Be Stitch Me, I saw this pattern. Like I say, I got to stop watching Floss 2 and Whip Parades. I have to. Because I go pause the video and go search for the stuff. I don't remember who was the... I mean, I can never remember because I watched so many floss tubes that I can't remember. But somebody was stitching this. Ah, beautiful. Love it. It says, don't feed the plants. It's by the designer. And um, Beast Stitch Me has, like, has the kit. So you could get the kit through Beast because the fabric... And the floss, the, it's made in silk. And it's at the, uh, the fabric and the silks I buy Be Stitch Me. So you could get all the pattern also in Be Stitch Me. So I went running and ordered it. I had to wait a little bit to get it because of the fabric. But love it. I love it. I don't know how big it is. Let me see. I haven't even opened it. I received all this stuff and I haven't opened it. It is 180 by 325. The modern is stitched in 32 count, but I ordered the 16 count Ada. 
because I don't stitch in linen. Um, I want to try, but I haven't to that. So yeah, so it's that. The fabric is beautiful. It's called Garden Party. I got the opalescent one because again, all my fabrics are opalescent. Look how pretty that fabric is. Oh, oh my god look at that look at all that modeling beautiful fabric and you're getting the true color of it oh beautiful beautiful fabric so that is called that and then the colors are to die for. Look at those colors. Oh, beautiful. Those pinks. Oh my God. So, yep. This is, I think this is going to be my new year, new start. I think this will be, this will, I have another one that I would, I could, I could start too. But I think this is going to be one of them, my new year start. No, I'm going to, I'm going to choose one. But I think this will be one. This will be. It's beautiful. Can't wait to stitch it. And it, it's not. It's not a lot of stitching, because all you gotta stitch is the flowers and and the and the, the 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 things, the green stuff. That's it. It will take me a couple of years to finish because I have a hundred and four oh, whips and way until every I start everything on on in December. So yeah. So I went in. I went running. And got this. Finally, I got my fabric that I ordered, that my printed fabric, my scenery fabric. But oh, they made a mistake and they sent me a wrong one. So she's, I contacted her and she's working on Get It Fixed. So, sorry about all the crinkle. So, I bought all my fabric. All my fabric is up a lesson. I love the bling. So, this is one. And here I am gonna stitch a the the little um the Nora cover witch that she's flying on this on the on the broom. I didn't bring the pattern, but that's the one that's gonna go there. She's got she stitched around there. So that is that one. Love it. I saw somebody stitching it and um let me see if I could show you. Let me what's my phone? I had I had the picture. Where's my phone? I print I took the picture because she posted it and she's like, take my picture so you could um no way because I asked her how to place her. She said, look at my picture and you could place her. So this is the one that I am gonna do in that fabric. Ain't that adorable? And I saw another person that stitched her there, and then another another witch will stitch standing right here i might do that too who knows so but i bought different fabrics so that's one this is another fabric and um i don't know what i who i'm gonna stitch here because i don't think there's another flying um witch so i like what could you use it like this too and put a a, a you could use it both ways look at that glitter oh love it i don't know which one i'm gonna i gotta check my um my big witches but there's some that i want to buy that i saw that i it's already in my car but again every big purchase has to wait until after christmas so if none of the ones i have fits uh fits this fabric i have another one in mind that think it could fit but i got the fabric this is the fabric that they sent me incorrectly. It was supposed to be landscape. They sent me poetry. It doesn't, I don't know. Let me see. I think I have it here. I still have it here. I haven't moved it. Let me see. Yeah. This fabric I want for this one, you see, it's supposed to be landscape. But they sent it to me vertical. Poetry. She is working on getting the man who does this to print it for me in horizontal because that's how I ordered it. Because that's how they had it in the website. She told me it was an error that they forgot to correct. So she's gonna make you she's gonna talk to him to see if she they could print me one landscaping. 
I offered to return this one. She said, you know, I would mail it back to her. She said to keep it. So what I'm going to do with this one is I don't like mermaids, but I don't like regular mermaids, like, you know, the mermaids, but Mirabilia mermaids are not no ordinary mermaids. Those are fancy mermaids with all the bling. So I saw one that I could stitch here because it's like she's she's going she's diving down and like grabbing a fish so i could put the fish in the water area and she is diving down and what i do with it when i finish i don't know i might give it to somebody or maybe i fall in love with the mirror villas. uh i mean i've seen beautiful ones it's like i don't like mermaids what i'm gonna do with them but with this fabric and i saw that mer that that mermaid so i'm gonna do that mermaid and then when I finish it, whenever I finish it, 10 years from now, either I gift it, I give, I do a giveaway with it. Maybe my mother fall in love with it and she'll put it in her, in her bathroom. That's a way to put them right, in the bathroom. You could put them in the bathroom. But anyway, that's the fabric. It's the wrong one, but it's not going to go to waste because I already have one. Even though I don't like them. I still gonna stitch it and then this is another one and for this one I got I don't have the pattern but I got it ordered it is another uh, it's a witch by Mirabilia by Nora cover which has smaller so yeah again a person that doesn't like Halloween right all the things she buy for Halloween I just don't like scary things. I don't like the I don't like the scary Halloween things, but I like the cutesy things. I like witches, so yeah. So those are my printed fabric. I waited a month for it, and when I saw that one, I was like, I was I'm dying to start this. Um, I think she could fit in portrait, but she looks better on landscapes. So we'll see what happens. So that was my fabric, right? So I had glitter everywhere. So like I said at the beginning, um, 2024, I got glitter not everywhere. In 2024, I am gonna collect every single Mirabilia that I want. I, I'm not gonna collect them all because there's like 200 Mirabilias. And there's a lot of them that I will not, I don't see myself stitching. Like all the all the mermaids, I'm gonna go stitch one. That's it. All the mermaids, I will not stitch that. There's some that I really don't like. So the ones that I like, the ones that I would like to stitch someday. Um I am gonna um I am gonna start buying them. But I'm in a kick of buying Miravilia already. So in a this stash group in Facebook, I bought a whole bunch. So the first one. The first one that I bought is um, Miss Dancing Flower, and she came with a big pass. I'm trying not to buy the big pass because they are expensive. For that Snow Queen, the big pack is $60. I was like, I am paying $60 for B. I could buy six patterns, five patterns with six with $60. I'm not. So um, that's why I buy my own beads. I have beads, but I bought some uh, some extra, and I bought the bugle beads that is used a lot. And but this one came for twenty dollars, which it was a steal. It was on Facebook. Um, somebody bought a state a state something, and she was reselling what she bought. So this was twenty dollars. Was not bad. So um, there's another one that is the companion of this one. So I gotta get that one so I could have the two. Um, Geishas. So, so I got that one from the same seller. I got I got Tatiana, Queen of the Fairies. Um, this one is Miravilia number one seventy, and it was published on. Doesn't say when it was released. They all say when they release. 
Let me see. Well, this one doesn't say when it was released. That's weird because they all say when did they release. But anyway, so that's that one. This one is Tatiana, Queen of the Fairies. This is Meraviglia number 30A. And this one was released in 1997. She is beautiful. Can't wait to stitch her with all that pink. Um, this one is number 124. This is out of print, which you cannot get it no more. And I got it from a steal. I saw this in eBay for 100 bucks, And I got it for, I think it was $15 that she sold it for in Facebook. A steal. And this is Roses of Provenance. This is Miravilia uh, 124. And this one was published... Doesn't say when. Huh. Oh, 2012. And this one was... Oh, this one was 2020. And this one was... It was in 1998, but then they reprinted in... Again. So, yeah. And I had the number one Meraviglia. I'm bidding on it. In, um, in, I'm bidding on sex and, and eBay. So this is an out of print, which is going for a lot of money on eBay, and I got a photo still. So I can't wait. And there's conversions for this one, but I like her color, so I will stitch her just like that. Then I got the Royal Game 2, so I got to get Royal Game 1. These are cool. And this one is Meraviglia number 154, and this was... This was printed on 2017. Then I have Ademed, the gypsy girl, which, Egyptian lady, sorry. Which, there's a white conversion, but I also saw her stitch in this color in a pink, and like a dark pink fabric. Oh, loved it. So I don't know if I'll do it as is. Well, I'll do the white conversion, but I loved it in that pink fabric. And Vistish Me has a fabric, a pink, a dark pink. The I'm eyeing it for it for this one. So yeah. And then we got uh the late the red lady pirate. I've been loving this one. I've been wanting it for a long time. I think that is a conversion for her coat. I will look to see if there's one in the Miravilia conversion group. Uh, um, if not, I will see if I could convert it. I mean, she looks fine. And it's fine because they're not going to be all in my living room. You know, I have a wall that I want to put them all like upstairs in my hallway upstairs. I want to do like a gallery and I could do it like going up the stairs. There's a big wall there too that I could do like a gallery thing with them. So it's okay, they're not pink. I mean, I cannot make them all pink, right? Because they are, as, as they, the way they stitch, they are beautiful. So unless it's not green, I'm fine with it. So that red looks good, but I think there's a conversion. I got to look. And then I got uh, my first Filipina, but there's five more that's coming next month. Uh, once I hit that buy button from one, two, three stitch, I'm getting the other five that I want to stitch. I seen this one stitch is beautiful. Oh my God. And I'm not much of an angel kind of girl. So I want to see if, I don't think I could remove that wing, but she's beautiful. So I, I don't mind her. I'm, I'm not going to do a lot of angels because I'm not, I was back in the days, like in the nineties, I loved the angels. The cherubs. Oh my God. I still got a picture from that I used to have in my room, but I don't feel, I, I, it's, I it's sentimental to me because it's the two little baby cherubs. And I always said that it was my daughter and my son. And I always had it like in, in my, my headboard in the top. But since then, you know, taste changed, but I don't want to get rid of it. It's sentimental to me. So I don't want to get rid of it. So I have it. I still have it, but it's not up. So, yeah, so I love her. And that fabric is from Be Stitch Me. It's already in my cart. I got it. I just got the discount for the 
for the club of the month. You get a discount every month. So I'm, I'm going to hit buy for that fabric so I could order it. Ah, can't wait. So that was just from one seller and Facebook and Facebook this stash um, thing. I think she bought a, a state fair bundle and she has so much. For me, babe, again, watch Facebook. I mean, watch Floss Tubes. And I was watching these two ladies. Uh, what's their name? They, oh my God, Mirror, all these stitches, Mirovilia. Girl. Beautiful. That's how I find out this. So I was watching. Let's give credit to credits too, right? I was watching. What's her name? Fibers are Amy. Oh my gosh. She has every single Miravilia out there. And I love her. She has like 200 whips and they all Miravilia and they all start. That's my goal. That's my kind of girl. So yeah, so I was been watching her. And the other one that I've been watching, her whip her Miravilia whip parade is what's her name? Something Faye. I think it's Stitching Faye. Let me see. Gotta give credit where credit is due. Stitching Faye. Yeah. Stitching Faye. Right here. This one. Oh my gosh. She did a mirror video with Parade and Kid Parade. And I saw this. Oh man. I didn't know Miravilia did a man. He is called Art. Archangel, Archangel, Archangel. That's his name, Archangel. <gasps> the only male she has done, I was like, oh my God, I never seen this before. He is beautiful. And he came, I bought it in eBay, and he came with a, with a Kranich and the, the Beats. So I gotta get, um, let me get out of, take him out of the thing. I gotta have y'all because it's one more minute, uh, an hour, and then, um, oh, it doesn't have Carol Lily. So it's all DMC, Kranich, and Beats, and I have everything. I had the, I use my, my floss from the, from my stash, my master, uh, kit. So yeah, he's ready to start. He, it, that's the other one that I was thinking of doing the first um, New Year, New Star. But it's okay. I could start him. The, I could start him the next day. He is gorgeous. Again, the wings. He's an angel. So I'm trying not to do too many angels, but I couldn't pass that one. And even and she, the person even sent me some needles. some needles so yeah and i think i got this one like for 20 dollars in ebay too with everything which it was a steal so yeah so i got that one That's for my collection and i do have i do have like 10 miravillas but like i said i'm a 2024 is my miravilla year then i got her which i love her crystal symphony um i love her and i think there's a conversion in her and pink but i love her like that i mean she's beautiful with a nice fabric color fabric not that that neutral again a, a dark pink fabric and oh beautiful so that's crystal symphony um she's all dmc beats and krennic so and those krennic she is repeat so i i have some of them so yeah can't wait to start her and then this is out of print and this one is going on ebay for a lot of money and i was lucky that i got it like for 30 dollars and this is the second miravilia ever put out i'm bidding on number one this is number two she is out of print you could find her on ebay different prices it range the prices range 
30, uh, 30 dollars 30 something dollars i paid for it that's not bad i mean i could pay up to a certain amount of money i would not pay the hundred dollars for a chart i would not pay more than 50 for a chart if i really really want it i would not pay 200 dollars. lady of the flag is 600 dollars, guy that what ridiculous price is that so yeah somebody put it to bid i bid until it passed 50 after that i was like nope I'm not paying more than that but anyway i was lucky with this one you could find a different price there's so many conversions for this one in the miravilla club so i would look for some conversion to see which one i would like or i'll stitch her as it is so that is that is all the miravillas i got so i got one two three four five six seven eight nine i think four is already on the way to me and i'm bidding on five that they, they are done by tomorrow so far i'm winning those five so we'll see what happens tomorrow because it ends tomorrow so yeah so that was all the miravillas and my bella filipina which i i love them so can't wait to get the other five and then like i say um i buy my own beads because beads are beads no matter crystal beads it's crystal bead no everywhere um cbs is cbs it's just different brands so mill hill is a brand i buy i buy no brands or micro brand <coughs> excuse me and they do the same thing um this ones i got uh i cannot this one because it's it this is the little one and i'm gonna show you where i i can have. I open one to see the different That's, well i bought the wrong side so i gotta order the other side but this is this little um i gotta get one size up i don't think you could see it but i don't want it this little um like that one so this is the same thing but i bought the wrong one you see it? It's the same thing. I bought the small one. I got to get one size up. So I got to get, I bought number two. I got to get number four. I can't, I want to see how, but I don't want to, it's hard to, it's hard to, um, to show you. But I, ah! anyway, so it's this little, let's see. It's hard. It's hard to show you. But anyway, it's the same thing. The only reason here is that I bought a tiny one, the two minimal, and I need like the four. But it, look, it, it shines the same. The same shine. The only thing, one is smaller and the other one is bigger. But it's the same thing. The only thing, this one is mill hill, and for this three, you pay two dollars or two something for it. When I bought a whole bunch, thousands, for fifteen dollars, but I bought the wrong. I bought, bought the wrong size. So, but I'm not gonna return it. I'm gonna keep it because some of them require smaller. So I am gonna keep it, and then I'm gonna order the the one size up. So yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. And the other one that I bought, it came with a whole bunch of things that I'm not gonna use. But this, it came with these things which I'm gonna use them to make um. Like the ones I did for my like pool things that say cross stitch or my whip and stuff like that, zipper pulls, or uh, one that says my scissor and I could put it as a scissor fob. So this ones I'm gonna use it for that. It came, it came. This kit that I bought came with this. It come with this, but you could put it in a. If I do a beach something, you could put a little charm to the thing. This one is to throw in the garbage. This is some plastic beads and. So um, this had to throw in the garbage. And then it came with some seashells one. I gave those to my daughter. And then it came with these charms. And look, look at this one. It has some mermaid tail. So if I do the mermaid, I will put this in the mermaid bag. I was going to do some charms with that. It came with a... I don't use this. This, this is a bracelet uh, to make bracelet kit. It came with some tweezers and with the jump rings. And then these are number. Oh, I gotta. I think these are number 
four B, no, number six. I order number six and number eight. Look at the colors I have and beads. I have every single, I don't want to, there you go. I don't want to till them because I don't want it to roll over. But yeah, those are all the beads. So I, this one came with two packs. So I have every single color. I still going to have to buy beads, like a specialty beads. You know, sometimes they use specialty beads and stuff like that. But this, that, this one's, I could use this one. It's the same thing. Let me see. Do I have, not this one. This one has the CB. So all this is CB. So, and I have CBs in, um, I have pack, I have CBs of color too. But look how cute. So these are the number six beads. So I have all colors. And then I ordered number eight beads. I haven't received those. And I have the bugle beads, which is the, the little sticks. I bought those in size six and size eight. I had to buy some uh, size nine. So whatever is bigger, I could buy one or two packs. But it's pricey. Like I said, for the um, Meraviglia, the Snow Queen, the the pack is sixty dollars. I was like, no, for fifty dollars, I bought this set. They has two sets inside. I bought this and the other three that is coming for sixty dollars in Amazon. I was like, no, I'm not paying sixty dollars for just one use. No. So yeah, so like that, it, it bring down the cost of the Miravillas. The Miravillas are pricey to kid up because of the. The new ones, because the older ones didn't use cattle lily. But cattle lily is $7 a skin. And sometimes they use two and three um, different ones. Or sometimes they use two skin, one color, and then two, three different colors. So it's pricey, plus the pattern, plus the fabric, plus the beads. It's, it's pricey. So I try to cut down the, the, the thing. But anyway, so that's all I have the haul. I think it's more than enough, right? Um, the other thing is, uh, I am going to, I don't think I'm going to stitch this week because I got to get ready for the 12 days of stitch miss. I am going to do them from December 13 to the 24. So my last day will be Christmas Eve and I'm going to stitch, um, my old widths from the first 12 days of stitch miss that I did. What I'm not sure yet is if I'm going to do a blog style, which I record every day. Or I just show, do a video, show you what I'm going to work on, and then come back at the end and give you a recap. I don't know. We'll see. But I got to get ready because I got to kit up some fa some patterns um, that I um, that I want to start. So I'm going to make sure that I got the bead, I mean the fabric, if not buy it, and stuff like that, which it has to be fitting in um, and Hobby Lobby fabric because there's no time to order um anything so i gotta get rid i gotta get ready for that for the 12 days of stitch so i gotta pick it's gonna be more, i'm gonna start one each day but i think i'm gonna I'm looking at those that i want to start from teresa cougar so most likely it's gonna be two start a day two new starts a day plus uh plus a whip i usually have three hours to stitch a night Three to four hours, depend, depend how tired I am and how my body's feeling. Because, you know, there's days that my body only have energy to go to work and come back. So, um, that's my plan. So, I don't know if I'm going to stitch this way because I got to get ready. I also got to get my whip go ready, my whip go board, which I'm going to do two boards this year. Because I still want to work on the, on the whips that I have. And then I'm going to do a Meraviglia whip, a fancy lady whip, which will be the new uh, Meravillias, the the Bella Filipinas, and the Lavender and Lace. I ordered the Lavender at eight, uh, and Lace. Also, that I, I have the pattern. I have uh, a... How you call it? Uh, AliExpress kit, but the other thing that I noticed in with those kids is that you you get you pay, you get what you pay for, right? Even though those kids are not cheap, but you get what you pay for. 
those lavenders and lace, I've seen them stitch in the groups and they are huge, beautiful. And the ones that I have for AliExpress, they're not that big. Those printed kits. So again, I don't see it as a waste because I, I mean, the fabric, I could wash it and I erase that and then I have a white fabric. So I'm not going to lose the fabric and the floss i use it and the if it has beads i use those beads so it's not a waste um but again these people are going after floss tubes they are using that and getting the floss the the videos um shut down for co copyright information i don't want that uh i got a head in my other channel one time for aliexpress dyes I mean, there's hateful people out there. They they want to mess with you. Again, I don't make money out of this. so But I love making videos. I love talking to myself here. And, you know, the people, that, the, the, the whoever watched it, I, I appreciate it. But I, I like doing it. So I want to avoid problems like that. So I just going to, I still going to do my, my kids. The ones that are not copyrighted. I still want to do those. Um, the Tilton one, I still want to do that one, but I have the original and we'll see because I want to do her face to see how you could see it. Cause, um, those kids could lose and those are beautiful patterns, but those kids, I had never, I haven't never finished one. So I don't know how good they look at the end. So yeah. So that's my plan. So I don't know if I do stitching. I do gonna do stitching Saturday on Saturday and Sunday. Then um Saturday tomorrow. I got so much to do. Sunday, I'm gonna stitch. I gotta finish that flag Sunday because then I gotta get ready for 12 days of stitchments and I had to frog some fabrics that I wanna use for some whips that i needed to restart and i had the fabric i just got to frog it because i use it for something else so anyway i'm in the process of that so i don't know if i will stitch if i stitch i stitch if not i'm just getting ready for 12 days of stitching you're gonna have you're gonna get tired of what look in my face for 12 days every day if i decided to the blog style um videos but anyway, um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. All the haul. All, all the haul. I am coming with another Timu haul. So stay tuned for that. So um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye now.